Chachma Shaloma, Wisdom of Solomon, 14. Again, one preparing himself to sail and about to pass through the raging waves calls upon a piece of wood more rotten than the vessel that carries him. For truly desire of gain devised that, and the workman built it by his skill. But your providence, O Father, governs it, for you have made a way in the sea and a safe path in the waves, showing that you can save from all danger, yea, though a man went to sea without art. Nevertheless, you would not that the works of your wisdom should be idle, and therefore do men commit their lives to a small piece of wood, and passing the rough sea in a weak vessel are saved. For in the old time also, when the proud giants perished, the hope of the world governed by your hand escaped in a weak vessel and left to all ages a seed of generation. For blessed is the wood whereby righteousness comes. But that which is made with hands is cursed as well it as he that made it. He, because he made it, and it, because, being corruptible, it was called Elohim. For the wicked and his wickedness are both alike hateful unto Elohim. For that which is made shall be punished together with him that made it. Therefore, even upon the idols of the other nations shall there be a visitation. Because in the creature of Elohim, they are become an abomination and stumbling blocks to the souls of men and a snare to the feet of the unwise. For the devising of idols was the beginning of spiritual fornication and the invention of them, the corruption of life. For neither were they from the beginning, neither shall they be forever. For by the vain glory of men they entered into the world, and therefore shall they come shortly to an end. For a father afflicted with untimely mourning, when he was made an image of his child, soon took away, now honored him as an Elohim, which was then a dead man, and delivered to those that were under him ceremonies and sacrifices. Thus, in process of time, a wicked custom grown strong was kept as a law, and graven images were worshipped by the commandments of kings, whom men could not honor in presence, because they dwelt far off. They took the counterfeit of his visage from far, and made an express image of a king whom they honored, to the end that by this their frowardness they might flatter him that was absent, as if he were present. Also, the singular diligence of the artificer did help to set forward the ignorant to more superstition, for he, perchance willing to please one in authority, forced all his skill to make the resemblance of the best fashion. And so the multitude, allured by the grace of the work, took him now for an Elohim, which a little before was but honored. And this was an occasion to deceive the world, for men, serving either calamity or tyranny, did ascribe unto stones and stocks the incommunicable name. Moreover, this was not enough for them, that they erred in the knowledge of Elohim. But whereas they lived in the great war of ignorance, those so great plagues called they peace. For while they slew their children in sacrifices, or used secret ceremonies, or made revelings of strange rites, they kept neither lives nor marriages any longer undefiled, but either one slew another traitorously, or grieved him by breaking wedlock, so that there reigned in all men without exception blood, 
manslaughter, theft, and dissimulation, corruption, unfaithfulness, tumults, perjury, disquieting of good men, forgetfulness of good turns, defiling of souls, changing of kind, disorder in marriages, breaking wedlock, and shameless uncleanness for the worshipping of idols not to be named is the beginning, the cause, and the end of all evil. For either they are mad when they be merry, or prophesy lies, or live unjustly, or else lightly forswear themselves. For so much so as their trust is in idols which have no life, though they swear falsely, yet they look not to be hurt. Howbeit for both causes shall they be justly punished, both because they thought not well of Elohim, giving heed unto idols, and also unjustly swore in deceit, despising holiness. For it is not the power of them by whom they swear, but it is the just vengeance of sinners that punishes always the offense of the wicked.